What's going on everybody? Welcome to the first video from the classic. So before we hop into the action, I want to let you know that this video is brought to you and sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. So if you don't know who Mystery Tackle Box is or what they do, they are a subscription based company that sends lures to your house every single month. My favorite thing about it is that you're going to get some awesome baits that you may not naturally pick out. And they also send you baits that you're not going to find at your local tackle shop or sporting goods store. It's something that's gonna help you find new techniques and new lures, and it's gonna help you catch bigger fish and get on different bites. So if you guys wanna check out a box for yourself, click that link down in the description below and use my code SBFISH. You can get your first box for as low as five bucks. So make sure you click that link down below. Go check them out. They've been the biggest supporter of this channel since like before I even had 5,000 subs. So huge shout out to Mystery Tackle Box. Much love to you guys. Let's get into the action. Buenos dias, everybody. It's time for the classic. So, if you guys haven't been following along, my brother Ace and I have been fishing these Fountainhead Bass Club tournaments for the last few years, and we fish 13 regular season tournaments from March until September, and then they take the top 15 teams and two provisional teams after that to fish in the yearly classic, which we've luckily made the last three years. This is gonna be our fourth classic that we've ever fished. So. We finished in dead last, 17th place for the year, but I'll take it. We're in here. We still have the chance to win, and that's the goal. You know, you fish every tournament throughout the year, obviously trying to win, but really just looking at it as points to get into the Classic. And now we're here in the Classic, you need to fish to win. So if you ain't first, you're last, but we're going to get out here, try to catch some big fish, and hopefully have a good weekend. So it's a two-day tournament, today's Saturday and tomorrow's Sunday, and the cumulative weight wins. They pay the top five places out of the 17 teams, and obviously big fish for each day. Hopefully we'll be able to make something happen. They also give plaques out to the top three teams, which that's what we want. The first year we fished it, we came in fourth place, and we were out of third by like a quarter of a pound. We would have gotten third place plaques, but we want that first place plaque. That's what we really want. Give me something, Ace. <laughs> Spot number one of the classic. Ace is already on the on the front deck, about to take things down, throwing a Texas rig. I'm gonna pick up a top water, throw this GoPro on, and hopefully be able to get something going. All right, classic baby. Seems like a top water kind of day. You want to just zip through this cove? Yeah. All right, top water it is then. Buzz bait. Spot number one, we're fishing through a creek. Ace is flipping, I'm top watering. Oh, that freaked me out, what the hell? Wait, look. <laughs> look what Ace just caught. Right in the belly. Right in the belly. What do you think it's gonna take to win? Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking either low fit, high 40s, low 50s. Yeah. I'm thinking you're gonna need big bag today. 20 something tomorrow. Time to roll. Spot number one, no good. Too good for anything. You know it's it's Saturday, it should be there. Oh, oh, oh my god, one just shot out from that tree to go for the buzz and it stopped. That, that did not look small. Did you see that? There's a massive wake. Just shot out at me. I have to slow it down a little bit. Oh, I thought that was going to be the one. That was a big old wake, too. I thought he was going to hammer it. Oh, 
Got him. Oh, yeah, it is. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Yep. In there. In there. Oh, my God. Look how fat it is. Five and a half. Dude, that's at least a five and a half right there, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that came right off that fucking I, thing. Yeah, he came right out of that tree. That is a stud. Look how big it is. Get to filling that thing up, boy. I know. You. All right. Five plus going in. First fish of the day. Oh god. Not my red bolt. All right, boys. Might have to switch to the old buzz bait. You might have to if I get another one. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is a. Uh, oh man, that thing got screwed. Yeah, it's so fat and tall. Mmm. So happy. We like. Oh, so cool. All right, there we go. This is a Damiki buzz bait. What I did was I cut the skirt off and I put a zoom horny toad on the back just to try a little bit different profile, but ran it directly over this tree, basically like a bush that comes out or the brushier part of the tree at the end. And that fish came straight up for it. Like I saw the fish before it even ate the buzz bait. It was so cool. Whew, my heart's pumping. That's the fish we freaking need right yeah. there, boys. We need to start off solid. We're gonna have a, hopefully, a couple more of those. Oh. Alright, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. That was almost a mess. He's a keeper. Absolutely a keeper. That came quick. T-Rig. Fish number two going in. A little Texas rig action for Ace Boogie. Almost lost a rod. It's in. Yeah, it's in. That's all that matters. Not big, but like, nah, I think it's too short. What do you think? Pretty close. A little dip. Yeah, nah, not even close. Hell yeah. He's two and a half. Buzz baits the end of trees, man. Buzz baits trees. Buzz baits trees. Let's freaking go. I'm hyped up. I'm hyped up, baby. Hey, yeah, flip around that tree because there could be more. What do you think? Two and a half? Yeah. He's, I thought he was bigger at first, but look at those spots on him. So cool. Looks like a cow. And that was like right on a transition too. Yeah. Like where it switches to more of a deeper wall and drops off. So it's 8.51 right now. We've had a pretty freaking decent morning so far. I've caught two fish on this buzz bait. Again, this is a Demiki buzz bait. It's a half ounce uh, with that giant clacker. I'm just taking a zoom. Oh, Ace is on, Ace is on. I don't know if he'll keep, but he'll be close. Just gonna come right here. Oh, there we go. Great bait. Just parallel on the rocks. Yeah. He's not gonna keep. No, he's gonna be short. Got him. No. They're definitely they're definitely biting today, which is good. I'm digging it. I'm just taking this zoom horny toad and I again cut the skirt off and just running it on there like a trailer basically just straight up. The reason that I'm doing that is because last week I bought a war eagle spinner bait that had no skirt and just a, a very similar buzz frog like the zoom horny toad. And I caught a fish like first cast on it and I just really like the way it looked, so tried to recreate it. Three fish, probably nine pounds, ten pounds by 8.53. Got a long day ahead of us. I'm going to keep throwing this buzz bait around until that dies off. All the fish are coming out of wood, kind of shallower water and trees nearby. So the two bigger ones came out of the, uh, out of the end of the trees with the buzz bait. So let's get some more.
Got one. Oh, it's a big one. Is it? Yep. He's gonna come up right here, right here. Oh. Doesn't like the net. Nope. Get him in the net. Yes, dude. <laughs> oh, that's a dude, that's, that's a tank. A that's a five, bro. Yes. Ace boogie. Ace freaking boogie with the crankbait. Literally just finished telling you guys what I was doing with that buzz bait, and I stand up and Ace goes, "Got one, solid freaking fish, on a little crawdad square bill, parallel on the bluff wall." He's he's dude, he's four and a half, five all day. I'm shaking. Shaking? <laughs> yeah, shaking? man, it's the classic. Hell so yeah! Just caught this four and a half, maybe maybe five. It's probably close to five, on a what's that crawdad square bill? I was just parallel on the rock banks, and uh, this one bit it. Not too long after the short. <laughs> All right, let's put him in. Ace, we have got, we are working on the bag, bro. <laughs> Stole your fish. Got one right at the boat. I don't know. That's a keeper, boy. Right at the, dude, that was crazy. You said it, you're like, right at the boat. That's a two and a half. Yeah, he's probably oh, two and a quarter. Dang. Hells yeah. Man, we're out here looking like a McCluskey Fultz today. Fish number five going in the well. Are you? No. Are you kidding me? Did you see? <laughs> that I was about to say that's a dangerous, dangerous cast. Dang. I do. He looked like he was like two pounds. All right, I say they're in the trees. Man, I wish I kept him pinned. I suck. Well, I flung him over the piece I needed to fling him over and then I just couldn't catch up with him after I did that. <laughs> just going up and down the, oh my God. Dude. Flip him. <laughs> they are deep in the trees. That was so sick. Ace just caught our limit right there. 9.24 in the morning. The sickest flipping hook set. That was dope. Put him in there. Oh my god. Oh, that was a bite. Yep. That's big. Uh, it's not that big, but it's a, yeah. Right here. Oh, yes sir. You see how he hit that? Yeah, that was nice. Old Skywalker's coming in hot. I know. Here we go, that's the first cold fish, 936. Give it to your man, Ace Boogie. Oh, snakehead? Snakehead, snakehead, yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, he's a giant snakehead too. That was, that was over 10. Man, that got me juiced up. Like it happened, I was about to say, end of the tree, baby, here it comes. Literally, that was going through my head, and sure enough. Did you watch that one? No, I didn't see it hit. It, it just came up, and it just slurped it down. It didn't, uh, it didn't like bust it on it. All right, this ain't good. What do you think? Let's go find some more trees. I mean, dude, the thing is, if we fish trees all day, we're gonna get, be getting bit. So when we get on stuff like this, where there's like one or two, and we spend 30 minutes on it, it ain't worth it. We just gotta keep jumping. Time for the 12 o'clock update. We've got six fish. We got seven fish actually in the live well. So the bites slowed down a little bit for us. We're starting to move our way down lake. Still fishing shallow wood, um, getting bit here and there. I'm actually tying on a spinner bait right now just to try slow rolling that. Got a light breeze, overcast skies. So hopefully it'll pay off. I think we have like 18 or 19 pounds. So really, we just really need to focus on culling one more of those smaller fish. I mean, if we can get another donkey, we'll have a solid bag. Let's go. That had me going. I, <laughs> I two-stepped so quick. Yeah. Holy sh Nikes. 
Fish? Yep. Small. Dude, I was about to reel that in. I was like not paying attention and I just felt the lightest little tick. And I thought it was gonna be a big. Ready to roll? Yeah. Get out of here. This is what we'll do. We'll fish this side and then we'll go out and around and fish back through it, coming down this way. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Sounds like a good idea. Third time we're back in this spot today. Ton of bait moved up on the flat. Uh, clouds, a little bit of wind. And I'm back with the buzz bait. Just can't stop with this thing. There's gotta be some more big fish around here. Sorry. No, you just slam the hook on that. That's which way you want to go? I'm going to try to go to the back. Stay down, baby. I'm so happy I picked that Dude. up. Dude! <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Yes, yeah, Ace! Kind of slam them, but that's you right. freaking lit that fish up. <laughs> Hold this real quick. I got to reel my rod right, in. Right. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah, Ace, that's another. That's a oh. four! At least that might be five, dude. That is a stud. I'm at a lot. I don't have anything to say. Oh yeah, he's another. That might be another five. Uh, he's a high four. High four for sure. Another high four, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, give me some, dude. Oh my dude, god, dude, what a day. What a freaking day. All right. <sighs> Eight fish in there. Dude, he Ace set the hook so hard on that walking bait. I was like, dude, take it easy. I, get back out. I'm at a loss for words. I mean, that's that fish put us over 20 pounds for sure. Oh, yeah. We don't ever get weights this high, so I have no idea even what to say. What do we, we have like at least 20, 21? That was in a foot of water. Yeah, foot of water. I'm freaking stoked. Dude. dude we got it. When was last time we caught big fish? <laughs> I don't know. Three big ones like that? We still have two hours. Two hours and ten minutes. Do you imagine if we catch another like what if we catch like a six? That's a call fish. Mm -hmm. Sorry man. I should have tried to keep but I should have tried keeping that fish down. Instead of keeping my rod all Jake, jacked up and high. Throw me those scissors back there. Or if you want to take the front, yeah. you can take the front. No, you're good. Stay up there. I mean, hey, if that's the only one we lose for the day. It's the second one I lost on the buzzbait. I'm running no trailer hook, but what do you think that was? Two and a half, three? Uh, probably like two, two and a half. Okay. At least that's what it looked like to me. Yeah. Got about an hour left. Got over 20 pounds. And we're fishing another flat, which was really similar to what we just caught. Or Ace caught that last big fish, and then I missed the one on the buzz bait. We actually stopped here earlier and saw a ton of bait, and we fished through it pretty quick. Didn't get any bites, didn't really see any fish either, but we didn't throw top water on it. Or no, I did. I threw that walking bait, oh, yeah. but I didn't throw it too much. Plus, I think this is one of those areas where, like I was saying earlier, they just will rush up there, eat the bait, and then roll back out. So it might just be like a, we gotta be here at the right time. That's good. Small. I think we did good. Better than we've done all year. We picked the day. But well, the problem is we need to do two in a row. Yeah, that's the problem. That is the big problem. It's Last cast. Let's go weigh these big girls. Goodbye, cullfish. You got six, Matt? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it 21 or is it 10? Oh, oh, it's a good beat. Oh, it's a good beat. I was just holding him out of the air, I'll show you the drive down. Keep him in there. Fill him up with some water. 1748. <laughs> Same boat with fish. <laughs> and oh my God. Hey, Mike, that was so right. <laughs> 5.48. Wow. 548. What is that? 20. 22, 23, 22, 96. Nice. Almost Sweet. Nice bag. Sweet. Sweet. Yesterday was so sick. Classic day two. Here we go. Yeah, oh, gotta fix my hair real quick. Gotta fix my hair. I look really tired because I was. Yeah, I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, Matt, why isn't the audio matching up with the video? Well, it's because the audio was trashed right here. And what I was saying was the day before Ace and I fished day one of the classic, we finished with 22.96 pounds and we were leading the field. So we finished day one on top. We had about a two and a half pound lead over second place. And I mean, that's a huge accomplishment in itself. Unfortunately, it's a two day tournament. I guess, unfortunately, it's still, you know, still a cool thing, but we had to do it all over again the next day and I've had plenty of chances and situations where I've been in you know the lead of a poker tournament or whatever it may have been and things didn't work out the way you wanted it to so I wasn't counting that money until it was in my pocket the day was awesome we had a sick top water bite ace was catching them flipping and on crankbaits and we couldn't have really asked for a better day for the first day of the classic there's also something that kind of goes hand in hand with that and that's the classic curse so in years past, whoever leads the classic on day one usually craps the bed on day two. So we had that against us. We had quite a few other things against us, but we still got to fish it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up. Wish us some luck down in the comment section below. I hope you guys are looking forward to part two. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. We'll see you soon.